फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द कार्बन क्लासेस चैनल एंड फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट फार्माकोलॉजी वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ड्रग्स एक्टिंग ऑन ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम दिस इज अ होल लार्ज टॉपिक इन विच वी विल टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रग्स वेदर कोल इनर्जिक एंटी कोल इनर्जिक डिफरेंट ड्रग्स एंड बेसिकली इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द नर्वस सिस्टम a basic understanding of nervous system is necessary to talk about the effects of the drugs so starting with the le first lecture in this lecture friends we are going to talk about the parts of nervous system so the nervous system has two parts your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system your central nervous system friends consist of the brain and spinal cord and your peripheral nervous system it basically contains your autonomic nervous system and your somatic nervous system further your autonomic nervous system contains the sympathetic system and parasympathetic system now this sympathetic system this sympathetic system arises from the thoracolumbar region and uh, this is t1 to l3 and this part is also called thoracolumbar outflow so the sympathetic system arises from the thoracolumbar region parasympathetic system arises from two separate regions one is your cranial outflow cranial outflow is from the third seventh ninth and tenth cranial outflow is from the third seventh ninth and tenth and sacral outflow is from s2 s3 and s4 so your sacral outflow is from s2 s3 and s4 friends a basic diagram to summarize all these things uh, cranial outflow is from 3rd 7th 9th and 10th uh, of the uh, your uh, parasympathetic system so both the parasympathetics i have written here your sacral outflow is from s2 s3 and s4 and your sympathetic system arises from the t1 to l3 so guys this is a basic diagram summarizing the nervous system and that to the sympathetic and the parasympathetic system now guys we are going to talk about the differences between your autonomic nervous system and your somatic nervous system now the next part of this lecture deals with the differences between autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system in autonomic nervous system first we are going to talk about what this autonomic means so autos means self and nomos means governing that means that it is a self governing body and as we know it is involuntary and maintains the homeostasis that is it is not in our control this autonomic system is not in our control talking about the somatic nervous system somatic nervous system is voluntary and it is under our control now each autonomic fiber is made up of two neurons which is arranged in a series so we have two neurons one is preganglionic one is postganglionic and here each somatic fiber is made up of a single motor neuron which connects cns to the skeletal muscles so basically we know that skeletal muscles are voluntary in nature so it is getting the supply from the somatic nervous system now looking on the diagram we have a preganglionic fiber this is a preganglionic fiber and postganglionic fiber this is the effector cell and we have a ganglion over here this is the ganglion so we can see it is a two neuron system and the preganglion preganglionic fiber is small and the postganglionic fiber is large so this uh, this is small and this is large and secondly here there is no preganglion there is no differentiation into pre and postganglionic it is a single fiber which connects the cns to the skeletal muscles now autonomic nervous system is present in the heart the smooth muscles and the exocrine glands and uh, here it is present in the skeletal muscles only now the functions which it controls so it controls the visceral functions such as circulation digestion and excretion and it controls the skeletal muscle tone 
सो गाइज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टूडेज लेक्चर होप यू वुड लाइक इट एंड इफ यू लाइक द वीडियोज प्लीज गो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड डू फॉलो अस ऑन अवर इंस्टाग्राम एंड फेसबुक पेजेस थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स एव अ नाइस डे आई एट डू मीट अप इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कोलिनर्जिक सिस्टम थैंक यू गाइज